Hi everyone. How are you guys doing today? Let me adjust you a little bit. Alright. So, I just got out of work not too long ago. Um, I did my meditation to bring me back to center and to the world outside of work. Um, and I told you guys that I would be making a video that would explain kind of a sense what I'm going through in my journey and my path right now, why I've taken a step back from my active practices. So just to get starters, what really triggered this was, y'all know the um, 13 rules or 13 goals of a witch by Scott Cunningham, and one of them being know thyself. I don't really follow a lot of Scott Cunningham's stuff. Um, personally, myself, I'd rather follow my own path and figure out what uh, is in my line of work. And But I do adapt a lot of things from other people. I think a lot of many, many of you do that and would appreciate uh, other crafters that do such a thing. So I came across these rules, and one of them was know thyself. Know thy craft, know thyself. And I took a step back and I'm like, I've gotten, gone through a lot of shit in my past and I've blocked a lot of crap from myself and created walls and barriers and a bunch of ooky gooky stuff trapping my energy centers, let alone my, 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 my life. And I'm like, do I really, really know myself? And since I brought this question to my attention, there were a lot of people who also brought that question asking me who I was. Not who I was, like, I am Grey Benar, I live in Maine, I yada yada yada, etc. Nyalsium, but um, more of, the, uh, of who I truly was. And I took a step back and I'm like, I don't know. I know what I do. I know what I want. Um, I know what I think I am. But I actually, I, I really did not know myself. So I, one day I sat in a circle. I was during one of the dark moon and I was performing a depth on and I, I sat down, I said, Hagate, I'm like, can you please be here with me? I, I really need to speak with you. And I felt her energy and I said, hey, would you be upset with me and I've left these practices, left my active practice and took a step back from everything, everything that I believe in, second guess everything, not really a second guess, but not doubt, but take things apart and not be active about it, just observe and detach myself. Those are better words. Observe and detach myself from my practices. And I said, this is something that I'm probably not doing, I'm planning on doing this. What if it happens? What would you, how would you feel? And the energy I felt, because I, I mean, I didn't really hear her talking to me, but I, I felt as though, to me, she was saying, it is fine, I'll be here to support you every step of your way. If you don't come back, it's fine still. I will still support in every decision you make. And I'm really grateful for that. At the time, and I still am, but at the time, I wasn't really fully um, engaged in actually leaving my active practices. But a couple of weeks later, I did go with the flow. And I did leave my practices to figure out myself, to figure out who I was. And it's been a couple months. It's been a month or a couple months. I've lost track of when I started. But time is created by man, and hence time does not exist. So... I really taken a step and to really think about this and I put a lot of labels to what I was I was putting a lot of labels to what I wanted thought was cool and some part of me screamed that my craft wasn't genuine that I wasn't putting that full actual love into my craft and I was kind of half-assing it and it didn't resonate within me who I was. It didn't fit within my higher self. If you got, if you guys know what your higher self, the higher vibration, it didn't fit. So I took a step back, and I'm still in that process of taking a step back and releasing a lot of energy. But now I'm really getting comfortable with how everything is placed. Um, 
and I hope that in the future that I can really feel one with myself and I can really know myself and this is all part of my journey and I am grateful it's I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be I'm doing exactly what I need to be doing as long as I live in pure love and pure light um, for everything and all things I can't go wrong so that is my journey for right now that is why I'm taking this ex internal journey of self to know thyself through thyself so to quote the great Buddha um, but I hope you guys understand now why I'm going through this and I hope you guys are having a great day and that you receive everything that you need and that I hope that it may all be positive. You have a great day. Good night. Evening. Morning. Time. Blessed be.